Alright, what is up guys? Today we're going to be doing a Madden uh, Fantasy Draft. Uh, first to uh, get our base team, I'm going to use the Snapchat filter I used to blind rank NFL teams. And our base team is going to be the Tennessee Titans. You know what? The Titans, they're cool. I mean, hey, we're basically going to be re rebuilding them. Wow. Um... I can't speak. That is not good. Mike Variable, I believe in you, but like... For this franchise, you already know. Your boy's gonna take over. We're gonna rebuild this team through a fantasy draft. Thank God I can say that now. And, uh... Yeah, let me just change the settings. Um... All Madden competitive. We're gonna turn pre-existing injuries off. I always turn those off. Because it's basically like you're starting something brand new. And you have people that are already gone. Like you get a... Say like... I don't know. Say you buy like a pack of action figures. Don't ask me why you would buy a pack of action figures. And like... Two out of the six of them... Have... Their hand cut off and... No head. So, we get the sixth pick. <sighs> Who's that QB? Who is going to be our QB? Okay, this is a toughie. Either T Law or Justin. Oh, oh, I'm a big fan of Justin, but I'm a huge fan of T Law. And you know what? <laughs> We're going to go with T-Law, because I personally think Justin Herbert is not ready for the playoffs, but Trevor Lawrence is. We've seen Justin in the playoffs. He's 0-2. Um, went against the Jaguars. See? Give him my reasons. Uh... Come on. It's Alvin Kamara. I'm a Saints fan. What did you expect? Plus, his college is in Tennessee. That's where he went to college, so. Bringing him back. Oh, what if we... Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I'm, I'm... We need some wide receivers. That's something the Jags do not... Jags. Um... The Titans don't have in Devonta Smith. I can relate to this dude. I can really relate to him. I like his story. He was always told he was too small. He was too little. He was too short, too underweight. But guess what? He made it to the NFL. Got a couple catches in the Super Bowl. And while he might have lost, you know, he made it. He made it to the gosh dang Super Bowl. Played alongside A.J. Brown, who went off and still put up you know, numbers that number one receivers were putting up at wide receiver two behind uh, A.J. Brown. By the way, T.J. Hawkinson, what a steal. I got to start working on my defense, though. Um, But we got a quarterback, get a tight end, got a running back, got a receiver. Do we have anyone on defense yet? No. So now is the time that I start taking defense. And my first pick... Hassan Reddick, the guy that picked me off in the Colts Super Bowl. Um, by the way, I won another Super Bowl in that franchise. Um, no, but I feel I'm going to give him the respect. I'm going to put respect on his name. I'm going to draft him here. Joe Thune, we want to work up that offensive line. Um, what I love about fantasy drafts is, you know... Titans week one play the Giants. I love, I'm going to love not having to see um, Saquon Barkley on that team, not unless they got him. How is the DNs, how are all the DNs already gone? Christian Wilkins. He's going to go off the board really soon. Surprised he hasn't already. Want to go ahead and work up the defense just a tad. Just want to make sure we have. Um, the key parts of our defense and a rush end and a safety 
are going to be the pillars of our defense. So, yeah. Um, we're only in round nine, so. Uh, let's see. Anyone out of the top, like, 15? You know, I already forgot to grab this guy. And, I i mean, I know for a fact he's gone, but we're just gonna check. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, Chris Olave goes so early. I mean, he's so good, so... I see why. I see exactly why. Uh, you know what? Romeo Dobbs. I was, um, watching, um, trust me, this isn't some, like, five-year-old, even though his channel sounds like it, no offense, but I was watching Wyatt's, Wyatt's World, and he made a video about talking about, like, players that should be given a second chance, and Romeo Dobbs was on there. Has he been in the NFL long enough to deserve a second chance? I wouldn't say, but I kind of... I kind of think the same way he does. Like, I already kind of feel like the Packers have given up on him. And why I say all the Packers is because of Aaron Rodgers, who is basically all the Packers. Even though he's really not anymore because he's kind of washed. No offense, Aaron. I mean, you're you're a, still a good quarterback, but I hate you, so. um, You know what? Hate is a strong word. I strongly dislike you, um, and the Saints defense owns you, uh, opening game of the season, like, two or three years ago, uh, we picked you off twice in the same game, so, um, yeah, go ahead, you can, you can go ahead and say that we own you, alright, it's okay, you can admit it, um, cause you didn't make the playoffs, cause you're garbage, um, the only good Person on your team is probably Adrian Amos. Uh, Aaron Jones is kind of just uh, bad. I'm sorry, but he's not what everyone says he is. Is he trash? No. Is he getting to the point where he's getting so hyped up that when he plays to a certain level, he's trash? Yes. Which is basically what happened with Alvin Kamara this year. But, I mean, I'm a Saints fan, so I can't say nothing about that. He just had a, he, he just had one bad season. And it's because of the fact that he had a whole lawsuit against him. It got dropped, though. But he had a whole lawsuit against him. See, if I went out to play football after almost having a lawsuit dropped out on me, I probably wouldn't do the best that year either. I mean, not unless you can prove me wrong. I don't see why people would talk trash about him. Because how many people have had basically a felony on him and then goes out and plays amazing? Not many people. That I know of. That I know of. But that's just me. We need some corners. And Teron Johnson, this guy is good. I didn't reach because... He was supposed to go up 506. He went up 507. Alright, what are we missing? Okay, we got a QB. Got a tight end. O line. Young guy that is somewhat good. Our offensive line is actually going to be pretty good. Like, most of it's going to be young and, like, low 70s. See, Connor Williams. He's 25, but he's already a 79 overall. Huh? Ah. Uh. Uh, right guard. Ryan Bates. Guard for the Buffalo Bills. 
And with pick 20, we will finish off our offensive line. Guys, should we take Megamind? We're, we're going to take Megamind. Guys, it's Megamind. That's not him, Madden. One moment. Dang, I had complications there for a moment. My bad. Uh, I just noticed that a, a good part of our defense is just going to suck. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, I really don't like that. Let's just try and get a left end. Zach Seiler, he's like 29, right? 26 and a 79 overall. We're gonna get some pass rush. It's just our defensive tackles that are gonna suck. Uh Oh, crap, we still gotta get a corner. Another one at least. Hmm. A lot of good young corners. Yurt, 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 yurt. My boy. I got Saints all over the field. Two on defense, one on offense. I should probably get some more Saints. Uh, is Marcus Callaway here? Oh, hang on. Julio. That is a steal. We're bringing him back to the Titans. Wow. Crazy to think... <clears throat> Julio's been off the Falcons for almost four years. Wow. I, my bad, I got sidetracked. I almost just accidentally drafted Devin McCourty. He's 35 years old, okay? I don't want him. He's a little bit old. No offense, but like... All right. Marquez Callaway, where you at? Where you at, Buckaroo? Hmm. Not seeing him and it's making me mad. Are you serious right now? Both Marquez Callaway and uh Rashid Shahid's been taken. I don't care. I'm taking John Ross. Well, actually, I do care, but like, let's get a good kicker and a good punter and a tight end, and then we'll be done. Let's get a punter. Stonehouse, you're amazing. I would take Blake Gilkin, but we're bringing Ryan back to the Titans.
And then, who should I get at kicker? Yeah, best kicker in the league. Although Evan McPherson's getting pretty good too. But he's not on that level yet. He's not on the, uh, he's not on the, uh, Justin Tucker level yet. Ian Thomas has 83 speed. Why did I think his speed was like 79 or something? I still haven't picked a defensive tackle. I forgot because all the all the D tackles sucked and they still suck. If Sloman Thomas is okay, he's twenty seven and he needs a seventy one overall. Okay. Now we can skip to the end of the draft. All right, let's see how we did. I'll probably make it another episode of this. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm turning it. Oh, jeez, I'm turning this into a series. My gosh, I can't speak. My bad to everyone out there. Sound like a clown right now. I'm okay with that though. Clowns are cool. Uh. Except the creepy ones, okay? I don't like the creepy ones. 85 offense, 84 defense, 84 overall. And the Ravens have Justin Jefferson. Well, hopefully we don't play the Ravens any more than in the preseason. Maybe he'll only shred us for a quarter. Okay, so I... Don't like this guy. He's kind of old. Yeah, he's 33. Uh. Anyone? Eagles. Yes. Oh my. Look at this team, dude. Oh, okay. It's not as good as I thought. Oh, they reunited the um, Jacksonville boys. Uh, is that two Chiefs? Well, Chief. 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 Wow. Quez Watkins, they kept. Demir Bird. Alex Anzalone, the former Saint. I, I hate this game. Also, give me Taysom. This makes sense. I'm serious, it actually does. Taysom Hill is low-key him, so I get why they want so much. Like, this is probably what Sean Payton's gonna try, try and do with the Saints. No, actually, it's gonna be... Are you serious right now? Uh, it's okay. I don't mind it. It's Taysom Hill. Yes! Let's go! Okay. Now let's look at the lineup. Yay! Megamind starting! Yeah! Okay, Trevor Lawrence, Taysom Hill, Nick Mullins. I like Taysom there. Um... Yeah, maybe I should have took it, taken another running back behind Kamara. But, hey, we've got Super Bowl champion Melvin Gordon. Uh, Devonta Smith, Jacoby Myers, Julio Jones, Romeo Dobbs, John Ross. Offensive line, good. Tight ends, the first two are pretty good. This guy, I don't know who you are, but you have a smile on your face. 
So that brings me happiness. Uh, corners. Jarvis Ward, Teron Johnson, Alante Taylor, the Saint. Yes, sir. Uh, defensive tackle is weak. Our rush ends are pretty good. Free safety is good. Strong safety is good. Linebacking core could be a little bit better. Ooh. Pete Werner isn't starting. So, we need another another middle linebacker. And he already plays left outside linebacker. So, just making the... Well, right outside linebacker. So, just making the switch shouldn't be too bad. Wait, hang on. Who's my right outside linebacker now? I want to see if he would... Okay, yeah, no, I got another... Okay, yeah. See, that makes the linebacker core look so much better. It's the legend Michael McFadden! Yes! The legend! And then our, our special teams is literally just unstoppable. Like, just, just, don't even try. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know, I kinda, I kinda want Julio in the slot. Yeah, let's put Julio in the slot. Julio's a really great wide receiver still. Alright, that was the team and the draft. I'm not gonna do anything in preseason, because who actually cares about preseason? No one except the backups. I'm sorry. I hope... Hang on, hang on. I gotta make sure that we don't cut Taysom Hill here. Because if we cut Taysom Hill, I am signing him straight back onto this team. I'm not gonna let my third round pick, my seventh round pick, and that random... Okay, you know what? The random right tackle I don't really care about. But the picks, I'm not just gonna let them go to waste. Just for the AI to release them back into free agency. If they release him but not Nick Mullins, they hate me. Madden hates me. Alright, let's make sure. Oh gosh, the Giants of Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> it's worse than Saquon. I was just gonna go to Trade Center because that's probably quicker. It's it's really not, but I don't care. Uh we still got Taysom, right? Right? We still got Taysom. We even have Nick Mullins. Jake Luton? Weren't you on the Jags or something? I can't remember. Anyone we want to trade? Yeah, actually. Maybe these two running backs will have value. Maybe... No, oh, you won't have value. Eh. Mm. Yeah, no one on the O-line. Quentin Jefferson, hey. Maybe we can get a decent defensive tackle. Anyone at all want to give me a defensive tackle? Eli Apple. Disgusting. Miles Gaskin, but no. Mm. Anyone? Oh, yeah, the Bengals. Hey, Bengals, can we get a defensive tackle, please? Oh, wait, that's one of their weaknesses. Something tells me we're not going to be able to get a defensive tackle. Something tells me this might get us a defensive tackle. Okay, yeah, no, never mind. I was stupid for thinking. Ah, Dolphins and Cowboys. Cowboys needed a defensive tackle, badly, so. Dolphins. They have Micah Parsons and Tony Pollard. They basically just got the best players from the Cowboys. Uh, that's not gonna work. Oh, Falcons. Disgusting. Y'all are terrible. Y'all are par y'all are a poverty franchise. And I hope y'all sink to the bottom bottom of the division like you did this year. Oh my gosh, how hard is it to just let me get a decent defensive tackle? Oh, George Kittle. I that hair is amazing. Like, don't don't make it weird, like. He can actually pull off that hair. Oh! Okay! Yo! Oh, can I trade you something else other than Quentin Jefferson? For this guy. Because uh, this guy is actually pretty decent. Would you rather have a 7th round pick? Uh, I, I don't think it changed. So, is Quentin Jefferson just worth the 7th round pick? 
I think so. How about a fourth round pick from next year? Eh? Thank you. A quality defensive tackle. Okay, now real quick. We're just going to end off this video by trading Quentin Jefferson. Because he, he has the value of a seventh round pick. And I don't want the guy... I don't want this guy, value of a 7th round pick, on my team. See, now y'all... Mm, now y'all want to give me... DJ Dallas. I actually really like DJ Dallas. He's cool, so... Alright. That's the video. Another episode of this coming out. I don't know when. Peace.